Hello, Mrs. Kiki. Kiki. Ayun. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, I'm Faith for those who are new to me. <laughs> Ayun. Hello. So, uh, hindi ako marunong sa speeches kaya nag-song leader na lang ako. <laughs> Joke lang. So, um uh, actually ano na <laughs> nasabi na lahat ni Jeff. So, I think on my perspective as the Christian um who fell in love yeah. with a, <laughs> with an unbeliever. <laughs> okay. Sabi ni Doc Ellie kanina, hindi naman sa ini-encourage kayong maging single. Hindi rin namin kayo ini-encourage na mag-asawa. <laughs> sa non-Christian. <laughs> because there are consequences. So that's the truth. There are consequences if you marry someone who is a, a non-believer or a non-Christian. So, sa relationship namin, so this is more of a testimony na, ano, uh, in response to Jeff's um, message. So, hindi kami, we were not always like, like this. So, there was a period in our relationship na puro struggle and there was a time in my life as a Christian, as the, the one who is the Christian um Christian person in the relationship. And daming struggles. So there were struggles. So sabi ko nga kanina, hindi namin kayo as much as possible do not be equally yoked to a non-believer. Because sinabi na to sa akin ni Pastor before. Before pa kami kinasal, mahihirapan ka. Lahat ng nakilala kong lahat ng nakilala kong kinasal sa non-believer is naghirap and true mahirap <laughs> and but that was before uh jeff finally uh that was before jeff finally um realized and accepted jesus christ as his lord and savior so if ever <laughs> if ever man na talagang na, na fall kayo tulad ko <laughs> so someone who is not who is not a believer of Jesus Christ. Just to give you, um, just to give you, ano, an idea, I struggled for like about three to four years within our, our relationship. And we are already married for, we are married for? <laughs> How many years? <laughs> we were married since, <laughs> we were married since 2012. Since 20, tama ba? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, yeah, red flag. Ako yung makakalimutin sa aming dalawa. So, he's, he's actually the more talkative person. Uh, and, and I'm the, um, the, yeah, the more reserved sa, sa aming dalawa. So, we've been married since 2011. But within those years, I really struggled dahil nga, my spirit, the Holy Spirit within me, is uh, battling the spirit that is with, within him. So, yun nga, yung pag-iinom, pag uh, paninigarilyo, yung mga, mga pagmumura, for example, and, and other things na non-Christian, non-Christian like. So, just in case nga, yun nga, na, na you fell in love with a non-Christian, uh, so support ko lang yung mga sinabi na niya. Kasi for me, hindi ko siguro hindi siya magiging ganyan kung hindi ko rin na kaya or he, if I did not ask God for guidance on what to do on spe especially uh on how to act as a Christian in front of him. Sa tingin niyo ba magiging ganyan siya if I acted selfish? Sinaktan mo ko kasi ay sinaktan uh, sasaktan rin kita kasi sinaktan mo ko. What if ganun yun nangyari? What if, uh, what if lumabas ka kasama ng barkada mo, so lalabas rin ako. So what if ganun yung nangyari sa, sa amin? It, it, uh, it would have turned out differently. So sa Christian, sa Christian and non-Christian relationship, 
sa example namin, it turned what it turned out well for him. <laughs> so lang. So it turned out well for both of us. Ayon. So of course, not it won't happen without the help of um, our Lord Jesus Christ. So I just want to share um, col- uh, the passage from Colossians four verses five to six. Sabi dito, let your conversation be, tama ba? Sorry, 4, 5 to 6. Chapter 4, verse 5 to 6. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders, the non-believers. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. So that's uh, from Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 to 6. So as I mentioned earlier, I don't think it will turn, uh, our relationship would turn out this way if hindi ako nag-pray first of all for help from Jesus Christ, from the Holy Spirit. And God wants us to treat our non-believer this way. Sorry po, Mike, hindi ako. Um, just in case nga, na you have uh, a non-believer partner. Wait. Nakalimutan kong <laughs> alisin yung KMD ko. I'm sorry. Ayun. So, first of all, uh, ano lang, uh, para lang ma, pa, ano lang, pa second emotion, kumbaga, sa sinabi ni Jeff. So, first of all, we treat our part, non-believer partners with sympathy, um, listening, and uh, list, like listening to what he has to say or she has to say, uh, kung ano man yung dinidibdib niya against, like for example, Jeff, yung mga ginagawa namin before as a Christian, like going to church. Why are you always in church? Why do you need to be there almost every day? Or yung mga, uh, mga questions niya about uh, ginagawa ng, as a Christian. You just listen. You don't need to defend yourself because... Um, si Lord na bahala doon. So all you need to do is you have uh, sympathize with him or her and listen. And when you're going to say something back to her, to him or her or to your partner, um, make sure that it's coming. Yun nga nabanggit kanina. It's coming um, from love, not because you're being defensive. And second, uh, treat your partner with compassion so from first peter uh three chapter eight sorry so basahin natin from first peter three thank you first peter three eight sabi dito finally all of you be like-minded be sympathetic love one another be compassionate and humble do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. So, yung example ko nga kanina, what if during our, uh, during our relationship is sasabihin ko na, yun, nagagantihan kami, it, would, it wouldn't really turn out this way. So, treat each other with compassion. And um, third dito, treat each other, of course, with love. Yan yung sa 1 Peter 3.8. With love and being humble, um, you don't need, really need to uh, always um, argue. Hindi nyo kailangang mag-argue. Actually, maybe uh, maybe it also has something to do with my personality because I'm not really the per- uh, kind of person na makikipag-argue. So that that actually uh, relates to the next point is treat them by knowing when to speak. So sabi sa James 119, so it's just a part of James 119, sabi, be slow to speak. So if you're being hurt by your partner, you don't really have to um, 
fight back um like hurt him back sabi uh, sa part ng James 119 merong part dun sabi be quick to listen um and slow to speak so basahin na lang natin James 19 Para mabuo natin. James 1.9. Where is James? Ayan. Sabi sa James 1.9, Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position. Ah, what? Wait, sorry. Verse James 1.19. I'm sorry. Sabi sa James 1.19 My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to, became, to become angry. So I think yun yung isa rin na um, one way na papakita mo um, to your non-Christian partner na the fruits of the Holy Spirit is bearing in you. Nakikita nila when when you're not easily angered kahit ano pang mga ano na ginagawa nila. Um, kahit na um, feeling mo na attack ka, it's not always that way. It's, it doesn't always mean that you're being attacked with what they do or what they say. So be always just um, understand your partner from his point of view. So for example, ako, uh, I know that we grew up differently, Jeff and I. So, Sha, um, he grew up from a Catholic family. Ako, since, um, since birth, yun nga, I grew up from a Christian family. Uh, I was nurtured. But, hindi ko ipipilit sa kanya na, na ganito ka dapat. Kasi ganito yung kinalakihan ko. Hindi ka dapat nagmumura. Hindi ka dapat umiinom kasi yung ipipilit ko na hindi ka dapat nag umiinom, hindi ka masama yan. Yung, yung impose mo talaga na sa partner mo na, na mali yan. I, I did not do that to Jeff. Um, actually, funny story is I even let him drink. Hindi ko siya pinipigilan nun na lumabas. Um... Uh, during the time na umiinom pa siya, tapos magtataka na lang yung mga barkada niya. Sabi, hindi ka ba tinatawagan ng ano, asawa mo? Hindi <laughs> ka ba hinahanap ng asawa mo? To the point na ganun. So, I think, um, my point is, it's important rin na you don't expect your partner to change over time. Kasi yun siya, it's, it's not easy for a person to change over time. Yung sinasabi nga ni Jeff kanina about missionary dating, hindi mo pwedeng ipilit na mag-change siya o, o, just over overnight. So all you can do on your part is to show the fruits of the Holy Spirit by being patient with Him, uh, by not getting easily angered, um, being, did I say patient? <laughs> By being, yes, totoo yun. Really, um, you really need to be patient because sabi ko nga kanina, it took years for us to be like this. Constant prayer, constant um, asking for help with God. So kung ikaw sa isip mo, nisip mo yun na if, if just in case you have a non-believer boyfriend, Isipin mo yon. kaya ko bang tiisin to for years? Kaya ko ba tong i-endure na every day I will pray for this person not knowing the day when he will change? Iyon, that's an, an, a question that you ask yourself. Kaya ko ba yun? Kaya ko ba yun na um, araw-araw para kaming, para kaming asot pusa? Or araw-araw na burden ako sa mga sinasabi or ginagawa niya. And again, you will not know when will the time come 
na he will choose to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior and ma magbabago siya. So that's one consequence ng um, having a relationship with a non-believer. Ayon. So that's actually my my one of the points being uh, treat them with patience and be considerate practicing long suffering. Yes, long suffering. Are you willing to suffer that long? <laughs> Years. No kidding. Hindi ko kayo tinatakot. It's just from experience. It's just from experience. Are you willing to suffer that long just to wait for your partner? Kayo, mga bata pa kayo. Hindi pa kayo married. So you have a chance. You have a chance to, sabi nga, if there are red flags, you still have a chance to let it go. To let that person go. If he's not, or she, or he's not for you. But imagine ninyo, pag pinakasalan nyo yun, kasi pinilit nyo, kasi mahal ko siya. Pinilit nyo. Remember, marriage is sacred. Hindi will ni God na mag, mag, ang marriage is ma-break. So, think about it. Marriage, if pinilit nyo na, sige, pakakasalan ko tong taong to. That's forever. You cannot say na, of course, iba naman yung abusive relationships. That's another story. But, just because you are married to a non-Christian, are you willing to live forever with that person? With the two of you having different views about your faith so patience and long suffering and lastly with wisdom treat your non-believer partner with wisdom and understanding so um hindi lang dahil umaten ka ng church christian ka na hindi lang dahil uh, andito ka andito tayo we're already christians we need to also uh, deepen our faith by studying the Word of God. And that way, alam natin paano natin ito treat, paano natin, that, that will equip us how to, um, how to treat our non-believing partner. Kasi madali talagang, sabi nga, madali tayong masway. If we only rely, if I relied on my strength, ako na very timid, na hindi na ikipag, ano, argue, I think I would have given up. Sabi nga ni Jeff, there were times that I already want to give up on our relationship. Kasal na kami nun, but that's not the will of God. Yun yun yung will ni Lord. So siguro kung tinuloy ko, pinilit ko yung gusto ko, di wala sana si Kuya Jeff dito nag-speak sa inyo. <laughs> so treat him, treat your partner with wisdom and understanding equip yourselves with the word of the lord and it's so nice na edita sa CHCC sa community you have your ate che uh, doc eli sila asia you have ate and kuyas here to support you sila aya yes you have each other you have each other to support you so sabi nga ulitin ko yung ulitin ko lang yung sinabi ni Jeff you don't have to Keep it to yourself. If you feel like you you are burdened, you can share it with with us. And it's an opportunity to evangelize. So, hindi lang yung yung like um sharing the gospel na uh, not in addition to sharing the gospel that that God, Jesus Christ uh, died for our sins to save us from our from our from eternal death not just that eh, but pati yung actions natin that's how we evangelize our partner and the people hindi lang uh, our partners non-believing partners but also the people around us who are who are considered outsiders a christian community ayun so um naalala ko lang yung ano sinabi ni Doc Eli kanina yung you'll not you will you will not find your ideal partner. So yung mga sinulat nyo kanina, he's not my ideal partner. I'm just kidding. But pero nung, during that time, I really don't have this uh, kind of uh, activity na isusulat ko. This is my ideal partner. I did not have a chance to do that. I didn't have the chance to do that. 
So it's nice na na experience nyo to. But then again, you will not find your ideal partner. Instead, make make yourself the ideal partner. Because you will attract, if you're the ideal partner, you will attract the right person. Sabi nga kanina. Ayun. And when it comes to expectations, when it comes to expectations, anong sabi nila? Expect the unexpected or expect the worst or set your expectations low. But I say, instead of setting your expectations low, uh, low, set your expectations realistically. Diba? Based on, <laughs> based on, <laughs> oh, kasi low. If you set your expectations low, hindi, ibig sabihin, diba? Ayaw rin naman ni Lord na maging mediocre tayo sa pagpili ng partner natin. So, don't set your expectations low, but don't set it too high naman na, ano, na wala na. But, set your expectations realistically based on what you can give as well and based on uh based on the word na na based sa will ni Lord sa atin okay so um yun lang po yun na yung ano ko uh ending ko and i hope na na inspire <laughs> na inspire namin kayo ni Jeff or if if you have any uh advice about marriage <laughs> di ba naman kami ganun katagal but if you need someone to talk to about relationships we are also here for you Ayun. thank you <laughs> ah? I may questions daw ba kayo <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sulat uli. Oh, wala. No questions. Hindi may notebooks naman sila. Nabigyan natin sila kahit five minutes to write their questions. Like when when we do things, when we do things for love. So meron ako na rin like recently. I think this is from so, sa mga podcast na pinapakinggan ko, hindi ko na maalala ko sino kasi hinahayaan ko lang mag-play mga podcast when I'm driving. So, sabi doon, when we do things for love, di ba, ganun yung lagi. Do things for love, ganyan-ganyan. Uh, kanta, I would do anything for love, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's try to change that daw. Daw, ah. Change it from doing things for love, change it to I'm going to be doing things from love. Um, bakit? Kasi, di ba? When you do things, katulad na sinay ko kayo, kinari, pag-work si guy or si girl, to tawag ties, kasi for love, pero wala naman talaga siya pag-amahal. So, um, so, ginagawa niya lang yun para sa pag-amahal. Invest na nasa yun na mismo yung pag-amahal, and you're doing it, kasi mahal kayo. God, ay God yung ginawa niya sa atin, hindi na for love, pero from love. Kaya niya din yung guys, Sacrifice, that is coming from a place of love. So yes. Nice. 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 Nice